Welcome back to Bransford Lows. We're now middle, going to the second half of May and a bank holiday weekend coming up. The weather's set to stay dry at the moment, so I'll just see as we move a little bit closer to the weekend how the forecast looking for the bank holiday. Hopefully it's going to be a dry one. It'll be really nice if we get another one like we had a few weeks ago. Um, set a few more records out there. But we're down on a part of the nursery now um, called Post Office. Um, it's not an outpost really, the nursery. Um, this little wedge shaped corner, outdoor beds on here, and we tend to overwinter tough stock on these beds. So you can see the, the, in the distance um, some soft fruit, some container grown soft fruit that's been overwintered, and the remnants of the flower carpet roses. And then a nice bit of colour just starting to form on these um, two litre potent tillers. So they're looking cracking at the moment. They've been overwintered, they've had a little trim, so really nice compact plants, and really loading their cells in bud at the moment. So good um, shrubby promotion and a plant that people know is tough and will survive year after year in the garden. Also a few gladioli. And then the rest of this section of the nursery behind them where Sarah's filming at the moment is um, trees. So a few which are still saleable for this year and end of this year's crop and the majority of which is next year's crop as well. So they're um, showing some work done on at the moment for we start dispatching them in August, September of this year. So back to this week and what's looking good. I'm really pleased um, first thing we've put online Gazania Apache. So we launched this um, three years ago now, absolutely stunning garden plant, tougher than you might think as well. Um, many people reporting that it's come through the winter in their gardens. Um, lovely silvery foliage on there and then this lovely burnt, it's really hot coloured flower, really large flower as well, so, so bigger flowers. And you see it's good two litre pot full, loads and loads of bud on there. So by next week I'd expect this to be showing colour. They've really filled out in the last week and that's just going to flower right the way through until the first frost so you're going to get colour in your garden right the way through till October, November time. Um, also great in a container, I mean, it's the best place to go, it likes a free draining um, soil but also good at the front of the border. Don't treat it as bedding, treat it as a tender perennial but let's say we had loads of people reporting that they survived the last two winters in their gardens. Um, something that is a little bit more tender but will give you plenty of joy and colour throughout um, the rest of this year is Osteospernum Heist Gem. So you may remember that um, a couple of weeks ago we put Helen Dimond on. Well this is the other variegated Osteospernum we do. This has got a lot more heavily variegation on there. It's a little sort of creamy yellow variegation to the green centres of the leaves. Lovely pure white flower with a lovely sort of bluey underside to it as well. So. It's going to attract those customers in the garden centre that love variegated for that and also that pure white flower that really, really does shine out in the sun which unfortunately it's just gone in the mountains of the sun so they're not showing the best but that really does reflect the sun and will stand out on the bench end for the um, We've put a couple of um, Veronica's online this week as well so this one is Baby Doll Lovely, lovely chunky beast of a plant there um, Just starting to bud up as well so again these have moved heck of a lot in the last week so I would expect by next week by the time these start hitting garden centre benches for them to be heavily budded and possibly a little bit of colour on there just depending on what the weather throws at us over the next week or so. And while we're on the subject of Ronica's, I mean they does nice pink colour. If you want something to sit alongside that on the bench, also the blue dwarf is on there, online as well now. Again, a bit of bud in there, this will flower about so high so a little bit shorter than baby doll will but the contrasting colours work really well on bench ends putting them together the blues and pinks up getting sales hopefully both varieties. Um, put some nice grasses online um, as well at the moment. So this is Phalaris Arctic Sun which really last week in the car this was just shining out and people were really loving it. Um, different, don't sell it as a grassy range then get a block of those and that foliage colour is bound to um, sound really fast and wolf off the benches in the garden centre. So that's Phalaris Arctic Sun. Um, also a few steepers, I mean check the other the full listing online we've got some really nice grasses online at the moment and a lot are just flushing through their flower and seed heads like this um, area. Lovely glaucous blue foliage on there, really strong plants and the attraction of the flower heads as well, it's fantastic. Back to a bit more sort of flower perennials then and um, we've put online Agapanthus Streamline. Two litre pot, Streamline, uh, overwintered crop nice bit of bud starting to form on that now and streamline is more compact than most so that'll flower about 18 inches to two foot high as opposed to some of the other ones like the lavender hazes that we do that will flower much higher than that um, so again great for a container great for in the border as well pretty tough for agapanthus i've grown that in my garden it's lasted year after year not really done anything to it in the autumn come back fine in the spring no problem through quite hard winters um, then just finishing off for this week with a shrubby lime 
um, and we've put online with Gillian Monet. So a little bit of flower on there and bud coming through, so it's got the interest of the flower and bud um, colour, but also it's got some really nice um, foliage colour on there as well. And again, with Gillian Monet, it doesn't get too big in the garden, that lovely red wine, deep flower colour on there in spring, and then the great foliage colour, which just intensifies. We go through August, September, into the autumn, that foliage just gets better and better and better as the year goes on. So that's it really for this week. Um, We'll load more stuff hopefully next week. The crops are looking really good, flushing through well. That bit of rain in the week, um, followed by some nice warmer temperatures, and certainly the warmer overnight temperatures, it's just helping things to grow through well. Um, I think as we go through the end of May into early June, there's plenty of colour, really impulsive um, perennial promotions hitting garden centres from Bransford Webs. So I'll see you next week for another video. Cheers.